Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects again. This is, video is going to show you how to do the installation of the Premiere Pro Icons uh, complete collection. So thank you all for uh, purchasing and downloading this. Pretty simple process uh, for, for the Stream Deck. So when you download and unzip your collection, this is what you're going to see. So you've got an icons folder here. This is, of course, obviously where all the icons, individual icons are, are located. There are labeled and unlabeled versions, and I've also thrown in the um, menu ones as well. And uh, under each of the labeled and unlabeled, uh, we have white icons uh, on transparent, and we have black icons on transparent, so you can put your own color underneath those should you choose. And these are color-coded. Uh, all individual color coded for the different um, menu commands. Now next up here we have the keyboard shortcut files. This is one of the most important parts of the installation. You need to install these keyboard shortcut files for the profiles, uh, the Stream Deck profiles to work properly because they use a custom built uh, keyboard layout set. Uh, and so the installation of this is very simple. What you want to do, you want to go to uh, your computer, you want to go to your documents folder, and that's located in your user folder. So user and my name and the documents. We go to Adobe Premiere Pro and the current version that you're running. So we're, we're working on 14.0 now. Click on the profile and on the Mac. It's under the Mac folder. We'll just open this up here and you'll see that I already have it loaded here. Sideshow Effects, Premiere Pro key Keys. So that's where you would drag it. So under the Mac, you take this file and you would drag it in there. Obviously I have the file already there, so I'm not gonna drag it in, but that's where it's located. So over on the Windows system and on Windows 10 here, uh, the keyboard shortcuts uh, location is going to be under your documents folder, Adobe Premiere Pro and your current version of Adobe. This one's 14.0. And you go to your profile and under the Windows folder or the Win folder, you'll see that is where the Sideshow FX Premiere Pro keyboard shortcut file is going to go. So you drag it from your download package into this folder here and it will show up in Premiere. So once you have that loaded, you can go over to Premiere and under the Premiere Pro menu and keyboard shortcuts, under the keyboard layout preset, you'll need to select the Sideshow FX Premiere Pro keyboard layout. Now, if you already had Photoshop open, you'll have to restart it for that to appear in the folder, in the drop-down menu. So we say okay, and now we've got that keyboard set loaded. Our profiles that we load in will now correspond to them. So in the Stream Deck profile, folder. We have Windows and a Mac folder. We're on a Mac right now, but the process of this is, is identical to, to the Windows one. So let's launch our Stream Deck. So we click on the Preferences icon here, and we're going to go to the bottom flyout menu, go Import, and we're going to select from our download package here. Under Stream Deck profile, we're on the Mac. And I'm working on an Excel right now, but there, the process is the same for the regular 15 key. But we'll go to the Excel, and I'm going to load in both of these. There's a labeled and an unlabeled version, and I'll explain why in a second. So we'll do the labeled first, just double click that. And it loads in at the bottom here, and you'll see it, it uh, labels it with a copy, because I already have a copy of this in my list already. Uh, so you can click on that and relabel it whoever you want, but we'll leave the copy there just so I can keep things straight. And you'll see that it automatically loads uh, the application that it's looking for as Premiere Pro. But there's an alert here. And that's because I already have uh, one of my profiles is already calling to Premiere Pro uh, to launch. You can see I have several of, of them here. And uh, I can go through and just take off all of these leaving only this one being the main profile that will launch when Premiere Pro is either brought to the front or is opened initially. In addition, if I choose, I can choose to not have this profile start automatically when Premiere is switched to and instead do it manually. 
And how we do that is I can go to my home menu here and I can create a uh, new premier button. I know I already have one here, but let's assume it's not there. So let's say on one of these empty buttons, I want to switch to a profile. And so I'm going to switch to that profile we just loaded in, which is right here at the bottom, premier, and it's the label to copy. And in our download package, there is a Premiere Pro icon we have provided here. We can just drag that on top so that when we press this button on our Stream Deck, it will launch our Premiere labeled profile. And there you go. We have it there. So you can do it one of two ways. You can either do it manually or you can have Stream Deck launch it for you automatically by selecting the Premiere application here. You'd select this one here. But like I said before, you'd have to, there are multiple profiles using it, so we'd have to, let's say, take that one out. So if we took this one out here, now we don't have the alert anymore, and it's going to work for us because it's this version of Premiere Pro. These are older versions of Premiere Pro that, that when launched, those pro profiles will launch. Since we have no alert here, this is going to launch whenever Premiere Pro is brought to the front or is opened. Now, because as you can see here, we have a switch that will switch us between a labeled and an unlabeled profile. Currently, we're obviously on the labeled profile. We want to be able to switch this to the unlabeled, unlabeled profile. So that's why we have to go back to the preferences and the fly up menu, import the unlabeled version of the stream depth profile that was provided. So we double click that and it launches. And I'm going to take off the application here so that none, because I'm going to have my labeled version as the one that always comes forward. So now that I've got that brought in to stream deck, I need to change this button here, the one that says go to unlabeled menu. So when I select that, I want it to launch the Premier XL copy that we just imported. This is the unlabeled version. So when I, when I select this on my Stream Deck device, it'll switch to the labeled. And I need to switch this one to the labeled version. Uh, that we just imported. So now when I hit that button, they will go back and forth between labeled and unlabeled of the ones we just imported. So I'll work on the labeled one here. Every user works differently and you're probably going to want to modify things a little bit to suit to your own workflow. So I'm going to show you how to quickly just uh, change some things around and create some new buttons. So let's say that uh, in the clip menu, uh, we don't have a shortcut to uh, modifying time code of a clip. So let's say we want to add that in here. So we, we can select an empty um, button spot here. And it, because it's going to be a key command, we're going to drag hotkey over to that empty button, creates it for us. And let's slip over to Premiere here. And we can see under clip modify time code does not have a designation here. So we want to make one to begin with. So we're going to go over to the Premiere keyboard shortcuts, launch that. And we're going to select time code here. So we'll just do a search for it. And here it shows up under uh, clip modify time code. And there is no shortcut associated with it right now. So we're going to look for an empty, uh, an empty shortcut command combination here. So if we go to uh, control, there's plenty. So we can go, what would make sense? Control T, well, that's already taken. So we can do option T. Option T would work because it's free. So it's option and the T is empty. So let's go option T. And that's going to be the shortcut for a modify time code. We say OK. And then to the clip menu, modify, you can see that option T is now selected as modifying time code. Now that we got that mapped into Premiere, we'll go back over to Stream Deck. And this button, we're going to do option T. And as you can see, it automatically will put the label here on the title. We don't want that because we're going to add in our own custom icon. So we'll just click on this downward arrow, remove, show title, and we can label this ourselves just for our own education that this is going to be modify time code. 
And now we're going to be able to put our custom icon on this button. Go over to the download package, go under icons, and since we're working on a labeled profile, go to the labeled menu, and this is also on colors, so we'll go to the color, go under clip, and modify, and there's modify time code. Drag that onto there in Stream Deck, and there you go. We have the button and it shows up on our Stream Deck. So when we pop over to Premiere, and we select a clip in our project panel, and on the Stream Deck, we select modify time code, up comes the dialog box to perform that action. So very simple to modify your, your own profiles. And let's say, for example, we want to take bits and pieces of different menu items here and create our own page. So we still have some empty buttons here. Let's just create an empty button here. And we're going to make this a folder. And that will give us access, because I'm working, as you can see, on the, on the Stream, Deck, Stream Deck XL. This, uh, all, everything I'm showing you here also works on the 15 key Stream Deck. So I create a folder, and that gives me access to 32 more keys. Click on an empty one, and I can create my own keys from here. But let's say that I want to borrow some. Let's, I, I want that modify time code, so I'm going to copy by hitting Command-C, or you can just copy that way. Swing back over to our newly created page and paste. And there we have it. And let's say, I, for whatever reason, I like to have this snap menu there. I can copy it with Command C, go over to here, and paste. Unfortunately, there is no way to multiple copy and paste with Stream Deck, but it doesn't take you that long, really, to just pull in the bits and pieces that you want to use and create your own page tailored to your own custom workflow. And you want to remember as well, if you do use, if you do switch back and forth between labeled and unlabeled menus by using the go to unlabeled menu, that you'll want to make the same changes here that you did in the previous one. So we can go to the labeled menu, select this key we just created, the modify time code key, copy it, select go to unlabeled and I'm selecting it on the stream deck itself to switch over to that profile. Go into clip and paste. Now the thing is, as you can see, we've got the correct keyboard shortcut here, but we have now have a labeled icon. So we'll just have to sw uh, swing back over to our download package, go to the unlabeled folder, color, clip, modify, modify time code, and there's the unlabeled version. So that keeps everything in sync and unison. And as always, please do follow us on Twitter or follow us on, on Facebook. Join the email list. These are the only ways that you're going to know that we have issued new updates to our packs. All of the updates are always free, and you want to make sure you can take advantage of that. Till next time, thanks very much. We'll talk